Hello, can I speak to Nessa Griffith, please? Speaking. Nessa, how are you doing? My name is Eddie Mullard from, uh, I'm calling from Beaverstown Golf Club. Yeah. Uh, just updating our members on the uh, forthcoming changes to the rules of play. The 26th of April is what we've been hearing is going to be the first time people will be able to play again, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you're missing it yourself. I am, yeah. When we do reopen, I think the maximum we can do is going to be a three ball to begin with. <coughs> okay. And it'll be members only and it'll be fully uh, fully paid members as well. So uh, anyone who isn't fully paid members won't be top of the list. OK. So as you're not a fully paid member at the moment, that would push you out. Well, like I paid my fees for all of last year. We hardly got to play. This is the way we've always been playing. I don't think that's very fair. So to get everybody out there... Now, how much more money do I owe you? <sighs> well, I don't have that information in front well, of me. Well, before you make these kind of phone calls, maybe you should have that kind of information in front of you. That is desperately unfair. I, I really, it's, it's that it, we've been off golf for four months. We, 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 we haven't played golf since December. We were off for four or five months last year. Yeah. We played our full membership. It's I have booked my day off for the 27th of April. I booked my day off work. Oh, the 27th of April is a, a, you'd be looking more like the 27th of October, I'd say. Sorry? I'd say it'd be closer to September, October. No, um, I, have, I booked my day off um, we're, and we're playing golf on the 27th. Mm, well, you Are know, you saying that the club's not open on the 27th? It'll be open to, to members who are fully paid, yeah. But to the ones that, like yourself who are, are paying in the dribs and drabs, that wouldn't be fully open yet. What kind of... What kind of organisation does that? You're, you're, you're a member, you've committed to being a member, you've been a member for the last 10 years, and sorry, and now it's just, you know, F you... I know, it's not, it, absolutely. Sorry, it is, sorry, that's just exactly what it is. It's F you, you're a member for 10 years, and now, excuse me, but it's just F you. I know, no, it's not yes, that at sorry, all. sorry, it is, it is. It's, it's not, and it's I, you know. It most certainly is. Now, now, uh, Nessa, I would, uh, I, would, I would recommend you don't get angry with me, with me because... Sorry, yeah, but you, you're the one that's telling me I can't go out to play golf until maybe September or October. Could you find out how much exactly I owe? Then I will make a payment and I will be playing golf on the 27th of April. It's a flat no. What do you mean a flat no? Fully paid up members to go first, the rest after that. You know what I mean? Well, so what's after that? It's just a difficult one to call. It's a bit of a head scratcher. Honestly, you know just yourself. Give me two fingers. A member of that club for 10 years. I'll tell you something. Could be changes coming yet. What I would say is, there's no need to get annoyed with me because I'm just. I'm not messenger. getting annoyed with you. I'm just that, annoyed. That might that might jeopardise the investigation into the complaints about you. What complaints about me? The way you were playing in previous to the pandemic. Sorry. That, well, there's been a number of complaints. Um, some of your friends, Barbara and Margie and Marjorie and uh, Alvi, have made complaints about you. The the attitude you had on the course. And there was a, did, don't you drive a, a white Ford? They said that there, there was, you parked that in, in one of the, uh, in the captain's car park space. I most certainly did not. I most certainly did not. You most certainly did. I did not. You did. I have never parked in the captain's spot. I, so, <clears throat> sometimes when I'm attending meetings, I might park in... The captain space. No, in the pro, in the spot beside the pro. I have never parked in the captain spot ever in my life. That Margie Alvey and Margie, yeah, they made the complaint, and then there was CCTV footage of you parking in the captain's space. Well, hang on a second. I didn't. I, I did not park in the captain's space. Okay. Well, somebody else maybe uh, stole your car and parked it there. I might have put it there for two minutes while I was running into the program. Ah, you see, again. there we go now. I didn't, but I don't ever remember parking in the captain's spot. I did not. Just for two minutes? No, I didn't. I never parked in the captain's spot. Ever. Okay, well, I'll put that down here. Look, let me just write that down. Denies all knowledge of that. And my attitude on the golf course. Sue's so swinging your club around in the air and shouting, get up the yard at your own ball. Oh my God, we do that all the time. Shouting, that's, get up the yard. That's all banter, getting up the yard. You're, that's all banter. No, I know, but it's shouting, get up the yard, and then chasing the ball. Like no, it's, and flapping, no. Flapping your wings. No, sorry. I, like, if you knew me, I don't run. I don't flap my wings. I don't swing my golf club in the air. Somebody is, somebody is telling lies. Okay, well, so one of the reports was that you were flapping your wings and saying, Baka! 
Maca! And running up and down the greens. Oh dear Jesus Christ almighty. Maca! I don't even know what Maca is. That's a bird noise. Somebody is Maca! mixing me somebody is mixing me up with somebody else because I have never done that in my life. So what you're saying to me is somebody got your car, parked it in the captain's space and then ran around I the green shouting Maca with their no, wings flapping. I don't know I don't understand Maca! I don't understand what this is all about. It's about bird noises when people are trying hey, to play I a game. I don't even know what Maca bird noise means or it's is. A, it's, a, it's a type of well maybe I'm getting it wrong it could have been quack quack. Quack quack. No sorry I'm sorry my mother was a member of that golf club my mother brought me up to be respectful on the golf course. Maca! I have never unless I'm having a bit of banter with the girls on the fairway but I would never shout on the golf course ever. No it's not really shouting is the problem it's more the bird noises and flapping no, sorry, the wings. Sorry, sorry. And, and, and ducking the head up and down like a penguin. That's another one. Maca! Oh dear God, no. Maca! Maca! That, that is not me. So who made that complaint about me? Gavin, the golf pro, said that uh, it not, wasn't even a very good uh, bird impression. He'd know it was supposed to be a bird, but it could have been any animal. Maca! Absolutely not. You know, he's, he makes one up. Could you, could you say Maca to me and I'll, I'll be able to cross-reference <coughs> it with the CCTV footage? Maca! No, a bit louder, like a bird. Maca! I don't even know what bird if you sh- it shout it and flap your wings there. I, I don't flap my wings. Excuse me, I'm a six-year-old person. I don't flap my wings. Just, just for the interest of science. No, no, no. Maca! Like that. No, just no. give us one of those. Maca! No, a bit louder. No, that's as just, loud as just I Just one want. tiny bit louder. I don't. I don't. I, I, don't. I can, I can bump you up to August if you shout Maca. No, no. At this stage, I'm probably going to leave the club, and I'm just about what, to ring my. What does your, what does your son think of this? My, what does my son think of what? Have you dancing around the golf club, shouting, flapping your wings, oh, no, causing a scene? I don't dance around the golf club, flapping my wings and making bird noise. What do you think, Alex? I, she does it, definitely, definitely she does. Oh, you f***ers! <laughs> you f***ers! You I'm going to leave the club after this! <laughs> That's your lovely son, Alex. And who are you? This is Jim, Jim and Nobby from FM the Horse, Strawberry Alarm Clock. Sorry, Nessa. Sorry, Nessa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> Alex, I didn't yeah. think it would go that well. <laughs> no, you, you were brilliant. <laughs> the Bacardi. Uh, <laughs> <flapping> your wings. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you probably there sit in the kitchen going... <laughs> Alex, you're out of the will. <laughs> I'm so sitting there on the other end of the line. That was so funny. It was not funny. <laughs> it was. And you parked in the captain's spot. I am certainly did not. <laughs> Maybe for two minutes, but never for very much. <laughs> I think you almost had her convinced that she did. <laughs> They might give you a space after it. Uh, Alex, you're dead. <laughs> dead, Alex, dead. The Strawberry Alarm Clock on FM 104.